everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. Now we are starting out in a new place, a new area. Look at this. I've expanded the chateau. And night is falling right as I start recording. Way to go. <laughs> so I went ahead and figured out that I could make uh, fences and gates and stuff like that. And so to make fences and gates is awesome. And that keeps the bad guys away. So I went ahead and did that. Now I've got myself a little hunger station right here going where we can use the hand crank. And it's it makes us hungry. And look, I've almost got all of that stuff up. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Yeah, Galacticraft. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now I was checking out um, my inventory. Look right here. Look at this. So when I click on it. All this stuff shows up. Apparently that has to do with Galacticraft. I bet that's like a spacesuit or something like that. I'm not quite certain. But I've done a little bit of off-camera off work. I did some organizing. We got all of our chests and stuff organized. So I've got uh, plants. Oh, I'm going to throw that in there. I've got plants there. I've got food stuff going right here. Go and dump some more of this junk in here. Chili pepper seeds. Huh. Let's go and throw these flowers in here as well. I think I'll hold on to everything else for now. These little worms, okay. Let's let's check this real quick because I think I figured out what the the U key was for. So we click worm. It can be used as bait, and this is from actually additions. Hit the letter U. That's not working. So apparently that doesn't show us. U work sometimes. Sometimes clicking the letter U will show us things, and sometimes it won't. So it's dependent on the certain items. If I'm not mistaken, you can use these worms. Let's just place one down and see what happens. He should, yes. As I say, he should turn this into farmland. Ooh, another worm popped out. Look at that. That's how you make worms, more worms. <laughs> Can I pick him up? Maybe I have to have an empty hand? Come here, you. Okay. I don't know how to fix this, but we'll fix it later. <laughs> but this is awesome. We could set up farmland, and we don't have to worry about uh, using aqueducts and moving water around. I was thinking I was going to have to do that because I've got something else set up over here, this little sheep set up. Let me go over here and explain this to you, okay? So there was a spot of water right down in here. So what I went ahead and did was I set up a bunch of strainer bases. Now, this thing has been running for a couple of hours while... I built all of this and I did some more off-camera work. And so all of the nets have worn out. But we have got Hopper Mark IIs underneath them. You can see one right there running to this chest. And look, now we're pulling all the stuff out of the, the strainers. And they're going straight to a collection area. And so we've got all this stuff going on. And then I've been pulling out the stuff and just sorting it here. So we could build more aqueducts because we've got plenty of clay. Look, I've also got plenty of stone coming in. And what's really cool about this setup is we have a renewable source of just about everything. Okay, so I, I can't use these crafting stations anymore, but I figured, or work stumps. But what I figured I could do is use it to remind myself how to make a recipe instead of having to look the recipe up. So this is for a work blade. This is how you make a work blade, which is one of these right here. Now the work blade is important because we have sheep. So I can shear the sheep and when I get their wool, I can use a work blade to turn it into string. I have plenty of plant fiber laying around so we can use that. So we can make work blades. Um, I've got all of this gravel coming from the farm so we can make flint. I've got all these sticks coming from the farm. Um, I've got sheep behind me. So just about everything that I need to make the nets to run these things is right here. Now, I, I don't have a way to get bones right here, but let's look it up. Not worm you. <laughs> a work. No, not work blade. We're looking for shears. I will fight the urge to say that joke. So I can make, because we can get gravel out of here, I can make uh, flint shears whenever the bone shears run out. So what I might want to do, let's do this. Let's grab these bones. Let's grab the shark's teeth because I know I'm going to need those in a minute. There we go. 
So by taking the bones, I'm going to force myself to have to make uh, flint shears from now on, which will be fine. It'll be totally fine. So this is a sustainable build where we have all the things necessary to keep the nets going. And we have an automatic collection system, so I don't have to worry about collecting things. So that is awesome. That is a nice little setup ready to go. Now, I don't have a gate over here. I keep breaking the fence. Let's go ahead and build a gate real quick. I don't know why I didn't do this before. It just, it literally just popped in my head right as I was, um, right as I was doing this. And like I said, those work stumps seem to be useless now, but I do like how they hold items. So we may just go ahead and use them as, um, frequent re recipes that we're going to be building. So let's go and do one fence gate. And so this is going to make it where we can actually like go in and out instead of having to break a fence every time I want to break free. Now spiders can still get over all of this, but the rest of the, the mobs seem to be impervious from being able to get past the fence, which is awesome. So now we can get in and out. There we go. And I can keep my horse safely inside there. So over here, I've got this going. And just for now, we've got ourselves a little setup. And I totally forgot that that was right there. So I built a whole bunch of those. So eventually, I'm going to clean all this up. But what I want to do is eventually extend this wall out a little bit out here. And then we can have ourselves a garden. We can start growing a whole bunch. Of, what is that? Why is there a cedar tree right there? That is really, really strange. I haven't done any ceremonies over here. All I've set up are these, these cedar posts. Why do I hear a baby zombie? Maybe it's underground. <laughs> Starting to get paranoid. So I went ahead and set up the arena over here. And look, what is it? E? So, uh-oh. Let's get right here in the center. That's the only drawback is because I didn't put it in the middle. You don't get all of the effects constantly. But I've got, I'm nourished to the point where we're almost full. Look, so I've just got to keep eating some grain. So we've got all of that wheat going so that we can get grain. So we're almost to the point of being fully nourished. And then uh, slowness is a side effect of getting the either resistance or strength. But we got resistance three and strength three. I've got the speed to help negate the slowness, so it should be where I'm just walking around normal in here like this. But this should be a good spot to be able to fight the battle. So the first thing on the agenda that we're going to need to do is get the parrots to convert to being eagles. Now, I found out uh, somebody had put a comment, I think, that you can um, you can feed eagles fish, and they will... Um, they will make you more eagles or something like that. So what I think I'm going to have to do, first I got to do is get these guys down from here. I made them sit down, but now they're stuck up there for some reason. So I'm going to have to pillar up and get them knocked down. Knock them down to my level <laughs> so that we can convert them to eagles. And um, then we can start breeding eagles. And that way I don't run out of eagles and I don't have to go look for more parrots. And then we can get ourselves an eagle flute made by decimating one of the eagles, unfortunately, which is actually illegal in America in real life, as far as I'm aware of, because it's the national bird. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's on an endangered species list right now. So you're not allowed to kill eagles. So we'll do it in the game, but we're not doing it in real life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but we're going to be able to get a flute going, and so then we can do the Baycock fight, finally. Hello, Mr. Horse. You want a carrot? Nope. Here, maybe if I squat. Squat and right click? Nope. Okay, so I'm sorry. There's just apparently no way to feed you if you're tamed. So, it, oh gosh, and let's get away from here with the carrots in hand. Mr. Pig will come loose. He'll lose his mind, and he'll go after us. And I'm loving this setup. I, I threw a bunch of wheat in here earlier, and I was able to, to just swap the... You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We do have some wheat, and we do need some more bread. So I'll show you. We just grab the lead. Come here, chopping. Hook you up right here. And there you go. And then you start making bread for us. Well, the makings for bread. Turn that into flour, and then we can put it over there on the grill. Now, real quick, before we get ready to do the fight and stuff, once again, I don't have my notes set up. There we go. So Hatter said that the cobble ladder idea works on other materials. 
And let's check and see. Lad ladder. So you can do stone, you can do diorite, granite, andesite, mossy cobble, cobblestone. Ooh, smooth as well. Okay. So there's a bunch of different ways that we could do that. So that is really, really cool. Different options in case we need ladders and we want to try like different looking materials as well. Hmm. It might not be a bad, I don't know if it's going to mess with the, uh, the pattern or whatnot, but it might not be a bad idea to have a ladder set up so that we could run around on the wall. So I'll, I'll experiment with that off camera. Said also grill carrots and beets. So let's do this. We got some carrots. You can grill a carrot and apparently a beet. And he said that if you grill them, you should be getting a better benefit from eating them. I guess cooking the food. Oh, that's interesting looking. What are you? I'm not hungry yet. So that gives us two haunches of saturation from a carrot. That gives us, wait, 1.5%. To, oh my gosh, so that's that's where we're getting the nutrition from. Did you see that? Watch, I'll hover over. See how it says nutrients, vegetable 1.5%, and that gives us two. So we get a little bit more bang for our buck. That's going give, to give us half a percent. And what is this going to give us? Oh my gosh, a baked beetroot is even better than a baked carrot. It's time to bake some beetroots because I, I can't think of another reason to use eggs for anything right now. <laughs> so that's going to kick us up a notch, as Emerald would say. Bam! <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleep. I can't believe it. We've had to sleep twice in one clip. Okay, he also said that you can make a hearty stew and that will handle three different uh, nutrition levels at once. So let's look that up. Stew. A hearty stew. Wow. Rabbit stew, mushroom stew. Had enough of mushroom stew. For those of you who watch uh, MHC, you'll know what that means. So cooked carrot, barley, or okay, we could do the flour. We could we have to do some, some kind of meat, apparently uncooked as well. Potatoes, three mushrooms, and five bowls will give me five bowls of hearty stew. And that will give me a grain, a protein, and a vegetable. Oh, wow. So we should just start making stew and then worry about fruit. And then speaking of fruit, he had said um, apple pie. I'm not seeing apple pie. Let's just try pie. What's that? Mushroom pie. Mushroom, mushroom pie, okay. Meat pie. A melon pie. Will give us fruit, a 4%. So I need to figure out where some watermelons are, right? Click on that. I don't know how to. I don't know how to use this yet. You need stage two first. We're not in stage two, so we. That is really weird. That melon pie brought up coal pieces, pumpkin piece. Huh. Okay. So there's a few things we could look at there. He also said that you can get an apple tree from a villager, and that will give you a ton of apples per tree, which would be awesome to have. He said, look into climbing gloves, which is an interesting thing. Climb? No. Gloves? No. Okay, so apparently we can't get to climbing gloves yet. Maybe that's in a, a later uh, age or something we have to unlock. He said rice makes slime bales. Slime? Unfamiliar items. Okay, so he might be telling... Oh, no, some. Hello. Come on, Piggy. Type correctly. Slime. Slimy dirt. Slime blocks. Whole bunch of different things. Ooh, what? What? Okay. A rice slime ball. So a fluid bladder and some rice will make that. And we could use that to make slime boots, which are awesome because um, these things are cool because you, they make you bounce. You don't take fall damage. So that would be really cool to get that. Three aqueducts are supposed to make an endless water source good for buckets. And I can't make buckets yet. I think buckets comes later as well. Um, and then shift crick click kilns shift right click a kiln we can move it around we don't have to worry about breaking it so that's awesome so we could set up our whopper hopper setup here and i don't have to worry about breaking these if i need to move them around and also he said check different recipes that they change and i'd said this before 
But I wanted to show you what, what happens because I started actually looking around and it ran into a recipe. So look, the flame grilled Whopper Hopper used to be just this recipe. But look, now we can do it. I don't have to go fighting and get uh, Abyssalcraft Shadow Gems. We could do it with lava wood, but lava wood has to be made from lava and uh, Tinker's Construct setup. And I, as far as I'm aware of, I don't have a way to move lava about yet. But that, that's a new way to make that where we don't have to worry about getting all those gems and stuff. So, i tell you what we're going to do. I am going to get these parrots down from here. I'm going to start filming myself doing the little parrot, parrot conversion to an eagle dance and record it. And whenever I actually get it successful, I will use that clip and then we'll move on from there. And for those of y'all who do, do not know what all this means... Go back and watch the end of last episode and you will see the frustration I was dealing with and why none of this seemed to be working. So I'm going to get all set up so that we can get ourselves some eagles and move on from there. And I hope to see you at the arena so we can have ourselves an epic boss battle. So I'm going to get set up and I will see you in just a moment. So it worked first time, but apparently we only got one eagle out of the deal, which is really strange. Do you have to do a dance per parrot to get them to become an eagle? I don't know, but that thing looks so cool. I don't want to have to kill it, but I know I have to to make the flute. So we've got two more, which is really cool. Gosh, those are so cool looking. So, I'm very sorry that I'm going to have to do this to you, sir. Oh, that's broken. Maybe that's a sign, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. No, we're going to need this. We're going to need to keep this because we're going to need to do this. We're going to need it for the boss battle. Yeah, that's what's going on. So, let's see here. Where's some stuff? I need to go ahead and make a sword. Do I have any combo laying around in here? Apparently not. I've got that, but that's broken as well. So, let's do this. We're going to run over... Down on the mines. I guess I should have built my my weapon first, right? Nope, nothing there. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you this. This is really cool. So I've been going down in the mines to get um, stone, right? But now that we've got this little setup, watch this. Okay, I do have some sticks with me, and I do have a pickaxe, so that's awesome. So we're going to come over here, and I can get stone automatically... And then I can bring the stone over here and convert it. We can convert it to cobble. Look at that. So that is so easy. Anybody could do it, even a pig. That's not correct. Come over here. <laughs> Let's make a sword. There we go. Now I'm really hoping that whatever I need, we're going to get out of one eagle. Because I know sometimes this game does little random drops. And so it might try to tell us, nope. You can't have nice things with the one eagle. You've got to slaughter a whole bunch of them. Now, the fortunate thing is that we have more parrots. Now, this is what I was looking at. Let's go ahead and do this. And let's back up. Eagle dance. This is all the stuff about the eagle. So, look. Um, once they're transformed, they can be tamed with any kind of raw fish. And then breed them with salmon. So, we can tame them with a raw fi fish. Where did he go? Oh, oh he's up there. Hey, sir, how you doing? So we could tame them with a raw fish, and then we can breed them with uh, the salmon. So, horse! <laughs> Come here, you. Ooh, that's a nice little setup. So you stay right there, and I'll use you to get out of the pen. So, everybody close your eyes if you're a little squeamish. Oh, no, no, no. Don't hit the, uh, don't hit the parrot. Just the eagle. What all did I get? Three eagle feathers... And an eagle bone. So that should should be good. Thank you, horse. You helped us get out of there. So let's see here. How do we make... It was the eagle flute is what we have to make, right? E, eagle, eagle bone whistle. Needs one feather. And oh, we can go ahead and make that right here. Nice. And what does this sound like? Let's get over here so we don't initiate a ceremony. Okay, so it's two basic, basically different 
note patterns where the game freezes up constantly for us. Now, um, another thing that I'm going to try uh, probably between this episode and next is to set up Optifine. Optifine might actually help us with whatever these little freezing glitch things are. Now, let's hit another button. Was it... Horse! Come on! I, why is he following me? And why is the parrot follow? Why is everyone following me? All Did I play the Pied Piper song? And now all the animals want to be my best friend. Is that what's going on? It would appear as such. <laughs> you parrot need to just settle. Settle. What what really bugs me is you you get these guys to sit down, and then for some reason they there now just stay there, buddy. Oh, he's got 83%. I smacked him. Maybe that's why he's running around. Okay, so what what was I talking about? I completely lost my mind now. So we've got this flute. I can't remember. So let's just do this. Let's let's check and see what the uh, the boss battle. Symphony of the Depths, Rite of Spring. It was like Chimes of Death. There we go. So this is what we need to do. To, okay, we, we got all that. So we need a wind chime, and then the eagle bone whistle, and then we got to play a bunch of music to fill that up. So I'm going to have to relocate all this mess over there. So just like we did with this, I'm going to gather up all the stuff, and I'm going to set it up over there. We'll make it daytime, and I'm going to start the ritual and film. And whenever the ritual is successful, then I will use that clip, and hopefully I'll have my weapons and everything. We're going to see if we can get this boss battle done. We're going to see if Piggy can survive. <laughs> this might be a bloodbath. <laughs> we're going to see if we can make it work. So one more quick cut and hopefully we're gonna we're gonna smack a, a a bad guy in the face and and get his bow from him oh no <laughs> oh we did it where is he uh oh is he about to attack <laughs> oh there he is hello you how you doing uh oh well he shot me once it didn't seem to hurt me too much though, so that is good. Now I've got all this stuff here. We've got our sword. Let's go ahead and do, you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab a shield. Come on now, piggy. Now I think that bad guy will just stay put. Hopefully. He's staying on the radar. Let's get this. And this and this. I didn't check and see. A, a two, a four attack, a three attack, a 1.6. So for attack, the spear is actually a better a better item to fight with. So let's swap. Come on, shield, you get there. So let's see here. Can we can we make this epic fight happen? And I need to go and get some health. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and it's a little bit dark. Ooh, could we fight him right here? Could I hurt you, sir? Apparently not. Let's go and get in the arena. Let the epic battle begin. Ooh, nice. Wow, he is... <laughs> we can hurt him with his own... Uh, we'll just reflect. It's the easiest boss battle ever. Wait, am I throwing the, uh, the tomahawk at him? Yikes. He hurts. <laughs> he hurts us, precious. Do it, are the arrows hurting him at all? I can't tell. It was weird because at one point it's like, uh-oh. Oh my gosh, my shield broke. <laughs> uh, Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on, Piggy. Come on, Piggy. I should have put a ladder right here. <laughs> wow. No. I slept in a bed. How was my bed obstructed? That doesn't make sense. Well, beehive, let's get away from that. Might sting my face off. Huh. Oh, that's a different tree, too. I haven't seen that before. So now we have to make the long trek all the way back to base just to get ready for the fight. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make my way back to base. I'm going to use a sleeping mat to set myself up a spawn. Wow, his, his uh, health meter thing shows up this far away. 
That's crazy. You know what we might do? Let's do a little thing where we can, like, attack his feet. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! Another cedar! That is strange. It, is there something happening that's making cedars want to grow around here now? But see, what I'm saying is, you, sir, where is there a ladder? I know I've got a ladder around here. That is really odd that it did that. And I could have swore that I had a cobble ladder set up. But what I'm saying is, could we do a little thing right here and we just attack his feet and then he couldn't hurt us? That might be the better way to go. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Um, I don't know why I didn't think about um, the shield breaking. Because I've seen shields break before, but I forget that they can break. So it was shift, right, oh, just right click to toggle. So now we've got it at set spawn point. And let's go ahead and set our spawn point right, right here. Can we do that? And it won't mess up the path blocks. I think so. There we go. So we should have a... Uh, now, do I have to keep the mat on my person for that to matter? Or can I put it back? Can I put you back? Let's find out. Let's see what happens. So let's get this off of here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another uh, sword. Actually, do, don't I have another spear laying around? I emptied all these out. And I thought that I... Okay, so let's see how to make a spear. Spear is a... Wait, what? Two sticks and flaked flint. So we can go over here. I'm glad that that boss just stays put. That he doesn't despawn after a while. Oh, here's a spear. I knew we had another spear laying around. Spearly, you can't be serious. Oh, see, I, see how I did that? <laughs> I know, I know. Bad piggy, bad piggy. So here's some food. Let's go and get some food. And I'm going to need a pickaxe so that we can open up a hole in the, the bottom part of that arena. So the arena apparently is going to be there to hold the bad guy and to call the bad guy. But we can stand outside the arena to fight the bad guy. Now that's probably how you could have won at Thunderdome. But nobody thought to do that. If you would just hang out outside Thunderdome... You wouldn't have to worry. So there we go. I sweep your leg. <laughs> there we go. The most uh, unclimactic boss battle ever. Oh, that's cool. We can see how much health he has. And then I'll also be able to go in there and get my stuff in a minute. So you, sir, have a weakness that, uh, that apparently the Karate Kid had as well. We just sweep your legs. How you like this? How you like these apples? Okay, so 63 takes, so that's four. Ooh. Oh, no, that still does four. Okay, I was seeing if the jump mechanic thing in the game worked as well. So here we go. The most anticlimactic fight ever. And we did the achievement, and it froze the game. I gained 100 prestige points. I unlocked stage Baycock. I wonder what that means. Is it a different stage completely? What What is this stuff? 14 bone arrows, flint arrows, and the bow. Hold shift for 16 ammo, 576 durability. Oh, and it keeps track of how much enemies you killed and how much you've damage you've dealt with it as well. Ooh, and a skeleton skull. That's awesome. We got a, we got a head. So let's see. Yeah, we're finally getting ahead in this game. <laughs> Come on, back out. So, did I drop... Are you kidding me? I dropped mystery meat. No. Items will go in your yield force. That is really strange how my face is moving around in there. So, let's see here. Can we just... Nope. Let's go ahead and use the ladder. So, the design flaw in the, uh, the arena was that we didn't have ladders to whoops, to escape on all sides. And then the other design flaw was, all you have to do is is, is uh, chop at his feet. Chopping his feet is also sweet. No, Peggy, come on. All right, you know what I need to do? I just need to get a work blade and go ahead and make another ladder over there. Do I have any blocks on my person? 
Nope, I got that skull, but I don't want to place it down because I don't know if once I place it down, will I be able to pick it up again. Come on, piggy. Let's do this. Nope. Okay, that does it. <laughs> we're going to get ourselves some uh, building blocks. And we're going to place them down. And we're going to get all the stuff back from our inventory. Awesome. Because I want to know what in the world is this, uh, this advancement thing or something that we did. Spooky boss battle. Didn't it say that we... Let's, let's check. What did it say? You have learned how to craft arrows. You've unlocked the stage Baycock. You've got 100 prestige points. And you make the advancement spooky boss battle. I've unlocked a stage. Oh, if you take off ST, it would be age. And we're playing in ages. So I don't know what the stage means. And I don't know what the prestige points are for. But now we can craft arrows. Let's see what the arrow recipe is. Arrow. Well, that takes a little bit of work. Look at that. But we can make arrows now. And we can finally use feathers for stuff. And then flint arrows. Awesome. And what is this? A ghost wood fletching? What are those for? Twine and string. Maybe the letter U. Will the letter U tell us? No. Will the letter U tell us? No. <laughs> Well, okay then, fine. What are you, a cooked carrot? A baked carrot. There's differences? Ooh, and what is this? Pork? No, no, no. We didn't see that. A steak dinner. There you go. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. So, okay, so I'm going to have to... You know what I'm thinking about doing? Probably leave this set up here in case for some reason we need to call Baycock again to get another... Um, another bow just in case this bow breaks it, you know when the bow breaks piggy will fall into the arena to get another bow for all or something <laughs> yeah oh my gosh oh and the wheat is almost done so we we got the boss battle done we didn't get any advancements really done this episode except for the one boss battle but we got the boss battle done awesomeness so I am going to get ready for next episode. We've got a lot of advancements that we can get working on. That's partially why I've got all this wheat growing for one of the advancements that I know I need to do. But if you like this episode, if you liked uh, uh, how everything unfolded, if you liked this really cool build, please click that like button. And if you want to see more episodes, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We've got SevTech. We've got a bunch of different collab videos coming out. All kinds of great stuff on the channel and hopefully new stuff coming as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I've really enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you again in the next episode.